Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to talk about how I clean and restore my very first Louis Vuitton vintage bag. So I got this a few months ago and I am so excited for the restoration of this beautiful purse. So I have, uh, and also I'm going to talk about um, the cost for the repair as well as the time frame and also the Louis Vuitton's evaluation. So anyway, I have here the photo of the of my purse, a tote bag that I purchased. So this is how it looks when I receive it. So you guys can see it looks really dirty. The canvas looks really dull as well as look at the strap the strap is about to fall off the strap is like oh my goodness the condition is horrible i mean the entire con the overall condition of this particular bag i must say is in very very poor condition and the reason why i purchased this because looking at the photos from the website it looks like the material is very very uh thick so I don't know for some reason I just felt like um, uh, I wanted to get this because I have been also I've been looking for a never full that I would be I was thinking of uh, considering of buying it for spring and summer but I just totally dislike the new um, canvas guys it's too flimsy but anyway so I are uh, on my left here I have the some of the items that i use to clean the purse so when i saw the condition and the canvas is still beautiful it said don't worry little girl i'm going to take care of you i want to make you beautiful so anyway i have some of the items that i use to clean my purse so i uh, i have here the kiwi saddle soap so this is one of the key um cleaner that i use to make my purse beautiful so this is the saddle soap i have a toothbrush right here so any like brush that has soft bristles i also have the brasso so this one is i use this to clean the hardware so guys this actually works wonders but you gotta have to be very careful not to put any residue on the vachetta. And also I got this, um, this is a carpet stain remover. So I use this to clean the interior of the bag and this work, this one works wonderful. It removes the um, dirt, the stain, and also it's actually, this one smells really good as well and it dries up so quickly. So next we have, I also use, this is a leather conditioner. This is from the Cadillac, my all time favorite in, in terms of uh, conditioning a leather. I also have here the Apple Leather Care. Um, wow, this is also really good. These are my two favorite leather conditioner. This actually works wonder. And last but not, oh uh, no, I, I, I have water here. This is a distilled water. So I decided to use a distilled water rather than the tap water because, well, the tap water has um, maybe, I'm not sure, maybe our tap water has a chlorine or something like that. So I just don't really want to put, um, use that for the purse because I'm not sure how it would react to some of those chemicals that I'll be using. So I use that and that works perfectly as well. And last but not the least, it's a, it's a microfiber cloth. This is very important to wipe the excess uh, stuff that you put in the purse. So anyway, um, okay, I have a little tiny clip here to show you how I clean the purse. So what I did here is actually I dip the brush into a saddle soap with water and then gently rubbing on the canvas in a circular motion, just like that. So, and after that, I actually wipe it gently with the microfiber cloth. 
really nice look at that look at the difference guys in the side of it oh my gosh i could i literally see the difference right now beautiful very beautiful so look at the dirt those grinds so as you guys could see right there on the microfiber cloth how dirty that is and you see how shiny the canvas oh my gosh it's beautiful so here she is so finally i was able to clean it it took me just like a day though it's so easy to clean this guys i did i clean it with saddle soap and i did it twice so easy to clean this so i was so happy because um when i started cleaning it i could see the difference right away that's what i like about cleaning stuff you can see the before and after and look how shiny it is after cleaning and also right here i didn't clean this one because i will be taking this to a louis vuitton the atelier so that i could Let's see how much they charge to change this trap. So both of these will be changed. So I didn't clean that, but I cleaned here. I actually cleaned the Vachetta. As you guys can see, it is very shiny. It looks like I used the Apple Guard for this, the conditioner, and it just coats the Vachetta leather perfectly. Look how shiny that is. Oh my gosh. It's so beautiful. It's very, very easy to clean. I love it. It's just worth my time and effort. So let's take a look at inside. I see you guys can see I stuffed this. And the inside, one thing that I like about this, uh, when I purchased this, I look at the photos and I didn't see a lot of stain in it. But even though they said that there was staining inside and there's no odor there's, it's dusty though, but there is no uh, staining inside. So I cleaned this with um, carpet cleaner and it dries so quickly. Um, I did it probably like, yeah, I finished this within a day. It's just perfect. It dries so quickly. The zipper right here works perfectly. And also right there the vachetta i cleaned that it looks very clean very shiny on the inside definitely work worth my time and the effort for the outcome for this i could literally use this but i wanted to change the strap look at the condition of the strap right here oh my gosh it's about to fall off yeah so We'll see what Louis Vuitton would say about this. And um, this is going to be uh, my first time to have this um, anything, a vintage item that would be repaired. So I'm a little bit excited for this because I am looking for the bag for summer. And I think this is perfect. Wow, I am so happy with the result guys. Look how pretty it is. And the nice thing about the vintage stuff, it's like the um the canvas the canvas is very very thick wow it looks like it's indestructible the canvas oh my gosh this is such there's a lot of life left on this purse guys so i think it is worth it is worth taking to the vuitton and see what they uh how much they charge me for that so anyway i'm going to give you an update uh, a little bit later about this beautiful beautiful purse so i took my vintage tote bag at louis vuitton atelier and i am just so excited so actually so when i went there right away the associate came up to me and uh, evaluate the bag so here is so i have here the paper it took them at least um 20 minutes i guess to evaluate the bag so yeah i actually just um i actually they texted me after 20 minutes that the evaluation is ready that they have accepted the purse but anyway so this is uh, uh this is the paper that i got so it says here thank you for entrusting us with your product our specialist craftsmen will now devote themselves to repairing your product 
using the finest materials and savoir faire that have helped to build our reputation since 1854. We will contact you as soon as we receive this product in our store. So service description, it says here is shoulder strap. And also they actually left the comment. So the uh, associate who actually evaluated the purse wrote here on the comments section, it is a monogram vintage tote. Please go forward with replacing both shoulder straps to be new as they are supple and breaking down. Leathers are supple and patina, metals faded, abrasions and corners, and overall well loved. Wow, I'm totally surprised that their description right here says that it's well loved. So it's like it's 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 it feels so rewarding knowing that I totally uh, clean the canvas really well. It's just like a reflection of how much I clean the bag thoroughly and make it even shiny and beautiful. So the the evaluator thought that oh wow, even though the strap is falling apart, but she took care. She took care of the canvas. But anyway, yeah, so I just find that really rewarding, guys. So with their evaluation, I'm just sharing it with you. So anyway, client is aware of color contrast. So also they discuss that with you if you're all right with the color contrast because it is a vintage bag. So it's already heavily patinaed. And of course, with the new strap that they're going to put in there, it is going to be real. It's going to be pale. So a fee of 240 US dollars at pickup and a lead time of eight to 10 weeks. So they said that um, it could be earlier or later than 10 weeks. So anyway, so I also, and also guys, you could also track the repair online. You don't need to call or be in touch with them. You could also go on the website and on the repair section and the here in your history you will be able to see the progress of your purse so i'm going to uh show the link right here that they were able to receive it and they already started um repairing my purse so anyway um i am totally surprised that they accepted the um my purse and also guys i know that that purse has a crack right at the corner and louis vuitton actually accepted repair on any louis vuitton bag and they repair the handles they repair the uh piping they repair the interior but not a cracked leather okay so if you have if you have a uh if you have a canvas or leather i mean uh, and if it is cracked, then don't don't ask them to repair it because they are not repairing any sort of uh, cracks or any sort of uh, on on canvas and leather. So if you have issues, if you have any issues with the handle or the zipper or the piping, yes, they can repair that for you. But if you have issues with the canvas, no, they cannot help you with that. So anyway, I am going to give you an update on this, um, on this tote. And I am totally excited because um, I w I've never thought that they're going to accept it. And also, um, yeah, this is my very first time and I'm just really curious of how they crafted the shoulder strap. I know there is going to be a contrast, a difference between the two, but since this is my first time and I totally, totally love the canvas. The canvas is very, very thick and I think it's worth it. It work, it work, It's worth keeping it and it's worth for the repair. Like I mentioned, there's a lot of life left in this purse. So I think it's worth it. It's worth for the repair. So anyway, I'm going to give you an update as soon as I receive the new handles of my li little baby. So anyway, that's it for today, guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.